We've set up the DDWRT, installed it onto the Netgear wireless router. But now that we've done that, let's go back to the forum really quick and look at number one. This is the Peacock forum on um, Broadcom SOC-based hardware. You can see here Broadcom SOC-based hardware, DDWRT forum, and this is for Broadcom only. And if we scroll down right here at the top, it says, do a hard reset before and after you change DDWRT firmware version. So we just changed to the DDWRT, and so now we're going to do a um, hardware reset, right? And this means doing a 30-30-30 reset. So we're talking about holding down the reset button for 30 seconds, unplugging the power for 30 seconds, and then plugging in the power for 30 seconds, all the time holding the button the reset button. Failure to do a hard reset and failing to wait after flashing are two most common noob errors that lead them to a world of unnecessary DDWRT pain. Okay, so um, so this is a recommended step when um, upgrading upgrading your firmware and changing your firmware. Okay, doing a hardware reset. So that's what we're going to do now. So Riley is going to hold down a um, paperclip pin on the reset button and he's going to hold it for 30 seconds. So we'll time that out here. So he's got this held. Now we're going to be probably disconnected from this interface shortly. All right, so now he's going to unplug it. And he's still holding down the reset button on the bottom of the Netgear wireless router using a paperclip to hold down the tiny little button. And now he plugs it back in. Now the power is back into the Netgear wireless router, still holding down the paperclip for another 30 seconds. And this will basically be a hardware reset, so it's going to just clean out all the settings. So if you had configurations from a previous config, would they be maintained with this type of a hardware reset? It stores DDWRT back to the default settings. So it sets it back to the default settings. If it works, you should see okay. the make a new password page again. All right. If it's worked, then we should see a, it should request a new password from us. Wait for it to turn green. So I'm going to hit resend and we'll see what happens. We'll go straight, how about to the home page here. All right, it's still booting up, so we'll see as soon as we get a interface here. We reset the, um, we did a hardware reset of the Netgear wireless router. It completely restarted. We had to actually restart it another time after that. And now we're plugged into it on the ethernet port and we're going to see if we can connect to it over the web browser. So we'll open up a new tab here and we'll put in our IP address 192.168.1.1 and as you can see we connect to it with no problems. Even though we had set the username and password before, we are um, confronted with a fresh clean installation so now we have to reset the username and password once again. All right, so we'll just put in the default one more time, and then we'll change it later. So right now for this lab, we'll put in username admin, and we'll put in the password, the default password, which is password, and we'll put that in twice. So admin, username, password, password, and we'll change the password. And now we're in. So here it is. This is... Uh, brand new uh, DDWRT. This isn't the latest build, but it's a build based on the forums that we were looking at that we were pretty sure would work with this model without any problems. And as you can see, it looks like it's working no problem. Now, what we want to do is we want to um, upgrade to the big build. Upgrade to the big build. Now, do you want to do a 30-30-30 before we do that? Uh, that's what we just did. Yeah, but then we set the username and password, so um, I guess we had to do that to get in, yep, right? So we're going to go to administration. Let's do it. Let's go to administration, firmware upgrade, and after flashing, don't reset. We'll say don't reset, and we'll just find the firmware that we're dealing with. So now from the mini build, we're going to try to go to the big build right here. So we'll double click on this big build and click upgrade. Okay, looks like the upgrade was successful and now the 
wireless router is rebooting. So it looks like it's going to be a good, looks like the big build took, but we'll see. We'll wait and see. So this will be a nice new Netgear wireless router for our network running the DDWRT firmware. All right, so it looks like it rebooted. Let's do a refreshing of this window. Looks like we have green lights there. All right, and we're in. Haha. -ha. It's just big. Yep. Oh, that's great. Yeah, up here firmware DDWRT, you can see big right there. And there's the version. Right? And you can see you this can version like 30, 30, 30. is from uh, March of 2012, so that's nice. Yeah, we need to do a 303030 30 hardware reset. They recommend that once it's done. So Riley's going to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds, and he's going to continue holding down the reset button and then power off the Netgear and then power it back on, all the while holding the reset button in place. Looks like we've connected, so we did a hardware reset once again. So let's refresh this window. And if this hardware reset took, which it did, once again, we're going to have to put in our username and password. All right, and we're good. Okay, so we're in, and we've got our DDWRT device here set up. We've got our uh, firmware loaded into our Netgear wireless router. Let's look at some of the things that are here built in that we're going to be able to take advantage of. If you go to services here, we'll put in the password here. And you can see here services management, okay, DHCP server, that's pretty standard. DNS masquerade, that's, man, that's um, pretty standard. Look at that, Xbox KAID, IP over DNS tunneling. Um, There's VPN up above. Yeah, look at that. SNMP secure shell daemon, right, you can secure shell into the device, right, that's nice. Telnet, and then up here at the top, very nicely, you've got VPN capabilities. Let's click on that. Point-to-point uh, -point tunneling protocol, server, client, uh, open VPN, server and daemon, open VPN client. Let's see here, USB support, network attached, what is this, NAS, FTP server, right? Pro FTPD, file sharing, Samba, Hotspot. You've got a lot of these tools that you could take advantage of, including Sputnik here, Hotspot System, Wi Fi Dog, Chili Spot. You could use this to set up a captive portal, right? Um, very cool. Let's see here security. You've got some impede WAN. Denial of service brute force, right? Um, that's interesting. How about access restrictions? Right, typical access restrictions. Um, NAT quality of service. Let's see. Port triggering port range forwarding, port forwarding. This is pretty nice. The port forwarding capabilities, port triggering, DMZ, and quality of service capabilities. So all these settings are pretty darn nice. Um, you can see it has some advanced wireless security features here. All right, pretty nice. This is going to be a lot of fun to play with.